Alright you guys, I'm here to review Only God Forgives. Only God Forgives is directed by Nicholas Winding Refn, stars Ryan Gosling as Julian and Kristen Scott Thomas as his mother, and some other dude that plays cop plays a cop. I can't pronounce that name for shit, and I'm not going to out of respect for that name. <laughs> this movie is awesome. Okay? This movie got shit on so much it's not even funny. This movie is great. Um, so the plot revolves around Ryan Gosling's brother being murdered, okay, and basically you got this revenge thriller, like a metaphoric revenge thriller, and it takes place in like this metaphoric dream-like world slash real world. It's kind of odd, and it's kind of weird, but after watching this movie now three times, okay, I kind of get what they were trying to do with this movie, okay? And Ryan Gosling, he does a great job, even though he doesn't speak barely a line of dialogue in this film. It takes him 23 minutes to say anything. And for those 23 minutes, you're just mesmerized at how this movie is shot. This movie is shot so beautifully, so masterfully. You you can't really complain about it if you will now this is not a perfect movie a lot of stuff a lot of stuff it's all kinds of weird fucked up and doesn't make a lot of sense on first viewing you really have to if you think Terminator and the Matrix are movies you have to pay attention to only God forgives is a movie you can't take your eyes off the fucking screen for. You really have to analyze this movie. This is a movie that's going to make you think. Okay? Sometimes we need a movie that's going to make you think because if a movie is too easy to figure out, you're going to be like, well, why did I watch this movie in the first fucking place? You know what I mean? At least with the other film, that which name I won't mention, because a lot of people keep comparing this movie to that movie because they were thinking they were expecting the same amount of stuff they were going to get in that film, as opposed to what people were going to get from Elysium from the other film. <clears throat> Just like Elysium, this movie is completely different to said movie that came out before it that I also reviewed and loved, but that's the good thing about it. It's not the same movie. They were expecting. That movie 2.0 or something like that. It this is not what we were going to get. Okay. So don't go in this movie expecting that movie. Okay. You know what I'm talking about by the way. It's the only other Ryan Gosling movie directed by the same dude. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. But I will say this. Kristen Scott Thomas. Oh my God, She was very, very fucked up. Hot. But very fucked up as his mother. And if you actually watch this movie en good enough, you'll know if shit like that happened to you where you were a boy, you wouldn't really talk much either. Would you still have respect for your mother? Hell to the fucking no. No. No, I wouldn't. Shit. Hell, i fucking kill her ass. But... He didn't kill her, by the way. I'm just saying I would kill her ass. Because she... That... that, No. That... She just don't do shit like that. You know, it's... It's just weird. And it's just odd. You know? And... Ryan Gosling's, I guess, girlfriend in this movie is looking down like... Why are you letting her do this shit to you? Why are you letting her talk shit like that to you? You ha really have to understand what the hell he went through. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a lot of, lot of fucked up shit between him and his brother and their mother. So, yeah. It's odd. Very, very odd. Okay? <laughs> and the ending. The ending is very satisfying. Not at first watch. No. Okay? Not at first watch. This is going to take at least several watches for you to love the ending. Okay? And if you can't love the ending, that's okay. I'm not going to sit here and say you're stupid for not liking the movie and not liking the ending. All films are subjective. We're all movie fans here. We're all adults. Okay? If you don't like a movie, it's fine. 
okay? If I don't like a movie everybody else likes, it's fine. My job is to recommend a good movie to you, okay? It's up to you to figure out if you're going to love this movie or hate the movie, okay? that That's what I do, and I do that. That's what I do best. I've been doing it now for almost four years, so, yeah. <clears throat> but the ending does make a lot of sense, okay? At first, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Second time, you're going to be like, and then the third time, you're going to be like, you know what? That was actually satisfying. That was actually satisfying. And that is why I'm going to give Only God Forgives an A+. Speaking of A+, uh, the guy who plays the cop. Look, we all know cops can't do a lot of shit, right? This guy does a lot of over-the-top shit that cops just can't do. Well, at least cops over here in America can't do. <laughs> so, yeah. And there's a torture scene in here that makes the torture scene in Grand Theft Auto 5 look like shit. Because, yes, there's a torture scene in Grand Theft Auto 5 if you haven't played that game yet. I'll get into that when I review the game. Almost done with it. I'm just taking my time with it. But, uh, yeah. Only God forgives. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Only God Forgives. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? Why did y'all hate it if you hated it? And why did you like it if you like it? Okay? So, yes. I have another Ryan Gosling film on the way. I think you guys already know what it is. Because it's the most overhyped movie so far. So, yes. I am out. Later.